Making really good compost efficiently requires an understanding of air-filled porosity and how to measure it. Microbes that compost our organic waste prefer to breathe, like you and I, take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. Microbes operate in a water layer around the composting particles. Given that oxygen travels well in air and not so well in water, it's our job as composters to make sure that the microbes have enough access to oxygen. Unlike us, when oxygen is not available, microbes have the amazing ability to utilize other compounds as their electron acceptors, and in so doing, create really smelly compounds. Microbes would prefer not to produce these smelly compounds because they gain more energy if oxygen is present. Keeping enough airspace in the compost pile is critical for keeping the microbes, we as composters, and our neighbors happy. We normally suggest an air-filled porosity of 30 to 50 percent. Here's how we measure air-filled porosity. It's a simple measurement building from the bucket test that I explained for measuring bulk density. Complete the bulk density measurement as per the instructions by filling the bucket with compost and dropping it to mimic compaction achieved in the compost pile. Place the bucket of compost filled to the 20 liter mark on the scale and weigh. Slowly add water to the compost in the bucket until the water reaches the 20 liter mark. This process may require up to five minutes to complete as it takes some time to allow for the air bubbling as the water displaces the air. Record the weight of the water and the compost in the bucket. Subtract the weight of the bucket plus compost from the final weight, which is the weight of the bucket plus the compost plus the water. This number is then divided by 20 as there are 20 liters of compost in the bucket. The resulting fraction represents air-filled porosity. The size of the compost pile and whether or not there is forced aeration impacts the optimal air-filled porosity. With forced aeration, we can successfully provide enough oxygen with air-filled porosity slightly less than 30%. With larger piles and no aeration, the microbes may need 50% air-filled porosity. In the next video, we will review measuring oxygen within the composting material. We will discover that in certain situations, the microbes may not be happy even when the air-filled porosity is optimal. My name is John Paul. I'm a waste management scientist. Thank you.